people should laugh every day, it's good for you. The problem is you can't go out and see a comedian every night of the week. You people have got to learn to amuse yourselves. <laughs> and I'm gonna give you a couple of tips. Like for instance, the next time you're the lead car in a funeral procession, <laughs> make a wrong turn. <laughs> Oh, what the heck? Lead everybody through a car wash. <laughs> Hot wax for the bereaved. <laughs> they like that, you know. And my favorite thing, you can do this anytime. The next time you're in the supermarket, put things in other people's buggy when they're not looking. <laughs> and then get behind them in the checkout line. I swear, you'll see them then, but just like this, like... I don't remember getting that. <laughs> then they'll pay for it. <laughs> if this is just for you guys out there, any of you fellows that use a shave cream called Gillette Foamy, you can verify this when you get home. Gillette Foamy now has a warning on the can. First of all, how dangerous can anything named Foamy be? <laughs> you wouldn't name your poodle Foamy. <laughs> But on this shave cream, it now says, warning, keep away from open flame. You know what that means? Sometime in the past, some nut has said to his wife, honey, I think I'll sit in the fireplace to shave. <laughs> Before we get too far into the show, let me tell you something. Everywhere I go, people come up to me and they say, every time I see you, you're happy, you're smiling, you're in a good mood, don't you ever get depressed. I learned in travel this great land of ours and most of the world that no matter who you meet, where they're from, what color they are, once you realize we're all equal, you feel better about everything. These three things in this life I can't stand. Hatred, bigotry, midgets. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't like them. Yeah. You ever wanted to spray a midget with Raid to see what it would do? <laughs> you know, make it wiggle a little bit. <laughs> you know what gets me thinking about this? Everyone in this room has seen a midget before. No one in here ever sees more than one midget at a time. You go over to the mall, there'll be thousands of people. One midget. Could be a law, I don't know. <laughs> But you've never seen a daddy midget and a mama midget and a station wagon full of midget kids. If midgets never get together with other midgets, how do we keep getting more midgets? It's worrying me today. I know what I'm talking about. I used to own a midget. I did, I got it for my birthday when I was a teenager. What I really wanted was a go-kart. And my parents couldn't afford it. They said, well, let's get him a midget. 